Hi, Stark Centeno. And one of the big problems we have out there is that we have a lot of misinformation happening when it comes to upper neck injections. And CCI patients have to decide what they're gonna do. Now, today we're gonna to focus on C0, C1 and injecting that area and that joint. And the problem here is that the vertebral artery runs through this area. And that's why it's dangerous, suicidal, to try to place a needle in this area without guidance. Because if you inadvertently inject into that vertebral artery, you're going to stroke the patient out. And or if there's anesthetic, you may have to call 911 if you have an inability to resuscitate the patient because the patient's going to stop breathing. Now, the other thing that can happen is that you can scathe into the spinal canal and inject into the brainstem, causing a brainstem stroke and damage. That actually happened recently here. I was called uh, to testify on that case. It settled before I could testify. But that patient obviously was permanently damaged by that injection. So ultimately, in order to inject this area, you need advanced guidance. Now, ultrasound is not really that safe here because if you're injecting deep with ultrasound, you can't determine whether or not you're actually injecting into that artery. It's just not possible with ultrasound. Hence, you need fluoroscopy and an expensive fluoroscopy unit at that because that fluoroscopy unit has to have digital subtraction and geography. It needs to be housed in an expensive room to protect and contain any radiation from that unit. You need an expensive uh, person to run that unit, a radiology technician. And ultimately, you've got to have a doctor that knows how to inject that joint, which is very, very rare. That digital subtraction angiography allows you to make sure you're not injecting into that vertebral artery. You need contrast to confirm that you're in the joint, and then you can inject whatever it is you're going to inject into the joint. Uh, for us, that's usually PRP or bone marrow concentrate. So again, be very careful here. Injecting into the C0, C1 area is very, very dangerous without the proper tools and without the proper training. There aren't that many providers out there that have the proper tools and the proper training to do this. So again, please stay safe because this is one of those areas that you don't want to mess up. Thanks so much for watching and stay safe.